Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Luke, aka The Amazing Cross, and today is my birthday. Um, I'm turning 21 today, and today's a bit special, really. I'm going to see the slots, and I thought you guys could come with me, and we can go see them together. Obviously, if anybody actually knows me, then they know I am obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. Obsessed with them. Oh my god. I cannot wait. But, uh, yeah. Probably gonna have to change before I can go. So, uh, bear with me just one second. And should, should we dab into this? Should we do, should we do some dead memes? Should we do some dead memes? Okay. Ready? No, I'm not gonna do that. Or am I? Am I? Am I? Shall I? Shall I? Bam! <sighs> there we go. I'm done. I'm changed now. Boo yes. Boo yes. Boo yeah. I messed that up, didn't I? Balls. Anyways, actually, I want to show you something I got for Christmas. The T-shirt I'm wearing. Um. Oh. God, I mean, you people should know this. I'm trying to sort this goddamn thing out. Hang on a second. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. And. Oh, yeah. It's time to get Swifty. Oh, yeah. You gotta get Swifty. Also, also, look how adorable this thing is, look at it, look at it, so adorable, so, so, so adorable. <sighs> Alright then guys, um, I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and got what you all wanted really, and I'll see you all when we bloody get there. Oi, oi. Yeah, it's handy though. I'll probably use it. Oh, Always looks at the camera, did not it? When she, when she gets out, she's just been a bit slow. Sometimes she is. She said, I just wanted some help. <laughs> so cool. A bit young, folks. See if she's in a lazy or, or an active mood. You never know what you're going to get with her. That's it. Look at the camera. Just now she was very active. So, what you could do is one you can get here and get a selfie like this. Oh, yes. I'm still getting a selfie. Or do you want to uh, just get really close? Oh, it is the best thing ever right now. She might actually, if you go stay there, she might actually sniff you. There you go. Oh, Come it's sniffing me. Hello. Oh, oh so adorable. <laughs> no, there was one time I saw somebody flip one on, <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, it's like a Nola. Oh my god, why am I in it? <laughs> That's so cool. Oh. Closes its eyes too when you give it a stroke. Oh. Those you claws are amazing. The male one, he's not interested in doing encounters. Um, so we don't let him do it. He, he's not happy. Because an animal's not happy to do something, you know, it could get stressed, it could be an issue. So yeah. if they're not happy, then just leave them alone. I do still bring him here. Um, just, mm -hmm. just to get him out and about, to give him some stimulation. But if he can oh, it's so cute. So adorable. Do, do just have a look. It, it's videoing you right now, isn't it? Uh, yeah. No, just have a look, because make sure I didn't do anything. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. You can edit it later, can't you? <laughs> yeah. It's all good. 
So you can see she's got some nice big teeth in there. Oh God. So I think that's real, aren't they? they have 18 teeth all together. There's 10 on the top and 8 on the bottom. She's got those four nice big incisors that you can see. And then halfway back, there's another smaller set. Oh, she's holding out for the avocado now. The yeah, the green. Ah. So she gets 360 grams of fruit, 460 grams of vegetables. That's for both of them. That's every day. And everyone thinks they are vegetarian. They're not. They will eat meat. It's more about getting the perfect opportunity. So to, to apart from the fruit and veg, they also get uh, four hard boiled eggs and 300 grams of brown boiled rice a week. And their eggs are their favorite. They love their eggs. Thing is, if we did give them meat, even if it was cooked, because in their enclosure, it's about 29 degrees. So, and also they need 80% humidity. So if we put meat in there, they didn't eat it quickly. It, you know, it's going to go nasty very quickly. Oh God. She is a big foodie. She loves her food. I so, yeah. And she's very good at holding out for the special stuff. <laughs> also, they can quite often have twins. Yeah. It's not uncommon, yeah. But the problem is you'll never see them with twins because... Sadly, like a lot of animals, they will always ignore one of them and just take care of one. Yeah. So oh. they would just like let it perish. You've really got these left Obviously, we wouldn't. Yeah. You know, if she had twins, then we would uh, rescue one of them mm -hmm. and hand raise one. You've got to have this. There's no more avocado. She might start eating it in a minute. The problem is, I don't like them to have too much avocado because it's so rich. You, you don't want it, do you? No uh, she loves normally she loves plums but once she's had avocado she's like yeah I know there's more in there you want me to there yeah. you go well you can always grab that piece that fell down if you wish I think it's see where you go I'm going to walk around that way so it gets a little bit of a different angle, maybe. See if we can. Oh. Yeah, you just tricked her. <laughs> That's no, why she started to smell her food before she'd give her. Because oh, okay. I'd give her an avocado and then slip the other one in. <laughs> so now she smells it. She's not silly. Come on. It's so good food. Come on. Come yeah, but that's more healthy than avocado. Uh. I don't do healthy food. That's why she weighs nine kilos. <laughs> and he only weighs six and a half because he does healthy stuff oh, and only see, and he avocado. quite literally eats what he needs to eat whereas she will just keep eating yeah yeah after me on heart this is i mean logs jump food and buzz stopping oh that's so cool <laughs> well, she might start moving around now so you can get Hopefully, some pictures are moving. <laughs> you never quite know what she's going to do. She's been a good girl today. You're getting a little bit of everything. But sometimes she comes out and she'll curl up on that branch and just, yeah, I'm tired and go to sleep. And they're like, <laughs> okay, well, you can touch her, but she obviously don't want to feed. She wants to go to sleep. You never know what she's going to do. And then another time she'll come out and she'll just be all over the place. You can't even get to touch her because she's just like up and down the tree and around. <laughs> When it's really nice weather, which sadly isn't often enough, I like to, uh, I've got some, another two climbing frames for them, and uh, I'll set it up outside, and then I'll let them go outside. They get weighed every, it was every three weeks, but I weigh them a little bit more often now. Uh, she's very easy, I can just unhook her and put her on a, uh, another branch to there you go and put her on a branch and wave you've seen her if you watch her legs she literally is almost like they're not connected mm, that's weird oh jesus oh it looks so happy though 
Oh they've yeah. Up the trees. They've slowed down. Yeah. But they <laughs> still have to come down the tree to go to the toilet. Yes, you saw that one somewhere. You know, and it's really because when they're on I the see, ground, give us a small down. look. Come on. Just check and see if that's food. Yeah. <laughs> So cool. Thankfully, they don't have to cut their claws, they break off. They grow because at one time they were really long, and I phoned up the vet. I was like, Do I have to cut these? Because they, so when they were holding the troop branch, it didn't look comfortable yeah. the way they were curving. And they said, No, don't worry about it. It's, you know, they look after it themselves. Oh, and then, yeah. You can see here the two of them just broke down to where oh. she's fine. Uh, but he did go on the big fat quiz. Because on the big fat quiz, I knew we were going to spend most of the day in the dressing room. And he, uh, Jimmy Carr, is very, very good about things like this. So, I, like I said, look, you know, can you just show me what you want? I don't need the animals for rehearsals. Yeah, okay, fine, no problem. So, you know, we don't have to, like, mess about with rehearsals. So, they basically stayed in the dressing room when they're climbing gray, where it's nice and warm. And then they just did the actual shoot. And then that was it. Closure right on the corner you couldn't see her she yeah. blended in with the wall <laughs> so we were panicking and like, you know when you, i don't know if you've ever lost your child and you're like you yeah. just think the worst so all these things and then luckily i went and looked again with a torch there she is so that's why we built the wall to cover so she couldn't go on top no. next thing she is i came in let a whole break we can let them out again because that took ages to make because yeah. You have to do it bit by bit. Go on, yeah, that's it. Let's have a little video. I came in, she's over there. I'm like, oh my god, how's she done that? So we find that we put a branch so cool. to make it easier for them to get out. So she was yeah. using to sit on that to get up on the green bit and go to Okay, so we cut that branch over there. I was like, how the hell did she get over there? She um, climbed up and managed to get hold of the silk thing and run over there. So we had to block that one. Yeah, we put a plate on top. Right, that's it. No, nope. you put her out. I hate this thing when you have to update the phone when you don't want to. Because hmm. then you can't find anything anymore. Uh, this thing is adorable. Yeah. You can't go back in there, love. Just don't happen. I want one. I know, but I need one. <laughs> I need one in my life. They're so cool. Okay, now I don't know where to find this. Yeah, you've got your cuddly one. Yeah, I've got a cuddly one. It's not as good as this one, though. This one's better. But I, I do like my cuddly one, I will admit. Mm. Mate, look at them claws, though. They are something else, ain't they? You're gonna give me a smile. No? Alright then. That's just in their own environment, you can't actually keep them in captivity. Yeah. Because there is a three kinds of leaves that they have to eat or they cannot digest their food, yeah. so they die. Like the, the, it's funny because they're sloths but they're so different in a lot of ways. Yeah. Right. You're gonna give us a little peek for me. Mm. You see how good she blends in with the branches? Oh, yeah. And then when, the, when, when they're in the leaves, <laughs> they do pick up all the moss and the algae and everything. So then when they're all nice and like with the green on them, then you won't see them. And they move yeah. so slowly, so they won't even make much noise going through the trees. The fossil eagle is their main predator. But obviously it's still Apple out to be naughty, haven't they? Yeah. yeah, apparently upgrades slow down your phone to force you to get the next the next model. Yeah. Yeah. They could be going to court for that one. I do remember um, my daughter Mark having one. Doctors mm. talking to us up and they said, well we can't do it, we've got to take the atmosphere, so we have to have to burn them. Yes. Yeah. So adorable. And then so you know, well, they said, well I'll be in the UK. Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so uh, obviously this is the day after 
going to the sloth experience that I had for my birthday. Yes! It was probably the best experience, well, one of the best experiences I've ever had. Without a doubt. Honestly, without a doubt. Even if you're not a fan of sloths, I still recommend you going. This will change your mind. Honestly. Um, I will put up some photos as well. Probably going up in the corner. Either corner, it doesn't really matter. Might put two in each corner. In each corner. That may have came out. One in each corner. There we go. That's what I actually meant. And uh, the link. There will be a link in the description to the place that I went to. So that if you guys want to sort out your own sloth experience, you can. Um, the person that I had, her name was called Barbara. Uh, she helped take some of the footage that you're going to see, actually. Um, bless her. She's super nice, you know. Didn't say a bad, could not say a bad word about her. She told me a bunch of stuff that I didn't actually know about sloths already. And she made the overall experience a lot nicer. So honestly, I recommend going because they have had trouble in the past with animal rights activists, activists, and honestly, their place is amazing. Like the the animals, because they have more than just sloths. They've got um, there's a hippo, they've got wolves, antelope, deer. Uh, there's a Bengal tiger there too. And honestly, like the animals have quite a nice amount of space. Like they're all half like. They look like them happy as it is. I mean, the wolves looked... Mate, the wolves are so cool. But back to the sloths. Back to what we're actually here for. And honestly, I cannot say any more than I already have that it was an amazing experience. Honestly, I got to feed it. I got so close to it, its nose touched me. I thought it licked me. Because I didn't realise that they have wet noses, kind of like a dog does. Oh, so, honestly, I recommend going, and, um, however, like, there was this one person that went in before me, and apparently they were pissed, because they went there about half an hour before us, because they were there, you can sort of schedule, like, when you're going to go and stuff, and, uh, to be honest, the place gave us decent instructions on where to go and where to park, and to message them that, they were, that we were outside so they could come and get us, right? Now these people, the spengs that they are, decided to drive off, forget the instructions of where they were told to go, and they went off, and they'd been waiting for apparently half an hour. And uh, they're pissed, so I don't know whether they're gonna, probably going to write a bad thing about this place. But honestly, as soon as we got there, they were straight to us, like within a couple of minutes of us parking up. Um, Barbara came and she was like, oh, hello, like, I've been given a certificate, I don't actually have it with me now, it's downstairs, I'd have to bring it up, but it's got a little picture of my sloth and, uh, the name of the sloth, her name was Talita, by the way, so, uh, my toy sloth that is back at uni will be named Talita after that amazing sloth, honestly, go, if you've got the money, it's worth going. It really is. It, like, just feeding it was amazing enough. And the fact that I got to stroke it and I basically took selfies with the damn thing. It was great. One of my best birthday presents ever. Without a doubt, honestly. Oh. So, yeah. That was uh, my sloth experience. And, uh, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Consider subscribing, give you our new, and I'll see you all. Well, I'll see you amazing, beautiful people next time. Ta-ra.